Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are back again. Obviously our win streak is dead in the water because I played as Tainted Lost last time, but this time we're doing regular old Samsung. I do love him. We've actually got a lot done as him. We're nearing full completion with him, to be honest. Do you know what? Let's look for a character that we don't have as much done on. Uh, Eden's always a good shout. I basically, I don't want to fill up any post-it notes too much, just because... I don't want any character to be someone that we just don't play for a really long time. So, I think, you know what? Let's go Eden. Let's go Eden. We haven't Eden in a little while. He's got um, an, an entire, like, other half of his uh, completion max to do. He's also on 68 Eden tokens, one off the funny number. We have the converter, which is actually a really good start here. Uh, but, we did unfortunately start with uh, Moldy Bread. So, I mean, we could... We could just hold R and see if we can get a better start. But honestly, our stats are not bad and the converter's pretty good. So I'll take it. And also it's one extra HP for a devil deal. It's just a little annoying to start with one extra HP and still only be at three. It feels a bit, I feel a bit cheated in a way. But at the same time, it's kind of like whatever. But, ooh, that's potentially pretty good as well as a first trinket. Uh, for the question of the day today, what is something that you used to really not like that you've learned to love? It could be something food related or other. Um, mine, I j j it just comes to mind for me because um, I've always been a devout, and I still am to somewhat, a devout hater of soup. And I don't know why, but I've... Oh, purity. Hell yes. Um, the sun card will just pop in a room here. Um, yeah, like, I've, I've never liked soup. Any type, type of soup, I've never really liked it. And over the past, like, six months or so, I've grown to like a lot more of them. And I more so think that it's like I always liked them and just for some reason had an aversion to them. I think it's because um, when I was a lot younger, I was... Do, do you know how you always get those kids? I mean, it, it's not super uncommon, but you always get those kids that, like, just hate everything and are really picky eaters. I was at one point in my life very close to that. I wasn't like insanely picky, but there was a lot of things I wouldn't eat. Mainly anything tomato related. Like whether it had tomato in it or actual bits of tomato or whatever. So I wouldn't eat lasagna. I wouldn't eat pizza. I wouldn't eat bolognese. I wouldn't eat anything like that. Um, and yeah, I uh, of course quickly learned the error of my ways. It was actually kind of a funny uh, situation. Obviously, most of you going, a child that doesn't like pizza? How is this possible? But um, it was actually kind of interesting the way that I ended up uh, liking it. So one thing that I did like and I ate quite a lot of was tuna. I still love tuna. I think tuna is like one of my favorite sandwich fillings. It's amazing. Um, but anyways, um, I really love tuna. And we went to Egypt I was hoping we'd get a bomb here, but unfortunately not. Yeah, we went, I went to Egypt with my family. I was talking about this in the last episode. Um, and it was the first time we'd ever gone. So I think I was like... I don't know how old I would have been. Maybe like nine or ten. Um, so I was still... I was like a kind of older kid for still not liking pizza, really. Um, yeah, and um, we went to a pizza place when I was obviously like... Uh, I don't really want anything because it's all tomato -y. So at first, I did ask like... Oh, a tears up with a health up. I did ask, like, can I just, like, not? <laughs> can I just get no, can I get no pizza or, like, get one without tomato or something? And obviously, you can get pizza without tomato sauce, but it's not really the same. Um, so, anyways, they were like, no, no, we'll do you whatever pizza you want. Don't worry about it. Because they were pretty friendly there and they had, like, a proper pizza oven and everything. They were all homemade. And so, of course, my first reaction was, oh, damn. Give me a tuna pizza. Like, I've never, I've never even thought, I've never even fathomed the idea of tuna on a pizza. It could be incredible. Um, it's one-to-one -one ratio with so Converter now, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I gotta say, so I was like, oh my god, I never thought of this idea before. And I don't know how my parents had never, like, sort of told me about it, to be honest. Um, lock up speed down, that's not too bad. Um, our luck was not feeling great, so, hmm. Not a huge fan of this room, but we'll wait it out. Um, yeah, and so I ended up trying tuna pizza, and my mind was was blown. Um, and it, it, it just it opened my eye to, like, pizza as a whole. I, I, I started... I mean, in fact, it opened my eye to, like, tomato-based things much more. I was kind of like, oh, damn. You can't really taste the tomato, can you? I've been missing out. Why have I not been eating this stuff? I just used Soul Converter by accident there, but I mean, it's not a big problem, but I probably shouldn't have used it because I need uh, 
protection from my um, devil deal here, which I will be going into. Um, yeah, so I was like, oh my god, I've been missing out so much, and it sort of opened my eyes as a kid to a lot more foods. Um, but yeah, soup has always been one that I've, I've never, ever, ever liked um, soup. And I don't know why. I think it's like the consistency or something, but I've never been a fan of it. But recently, I've been dieting a little more, and of course, soup is like a really good diet food. Um, generally pretty on... Uh, Generally pretty low calorie and um, quite filling, so I've been eating a bit. I've been trying to try a few more soups and mushroom and chicken soup. I'm actually pretty into. I think I still definitely don't like tomato soup. I know that for a fact. Um, I still definitely don't like tomato soup, but other soups I'm getting into. This, this is a very good devil deal. Um, I actually think I'm going to grab it all. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> and I can soul convert one of these into a red heart. That, that was an amazing devil deal. Holy, holy. Uh, can we buy a soul heart here real quick as well? We can, wait, what? No, wait, what? I'm confused. Do I, do I get them back? Um, excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I'd like my twisted pear black back, please. What the hell? And yes, I'd never really tried soup in many capacities at all. I need a bomb really badly. More tear it. Um, I will be spawning a bomb if I don't get one, but I'll definitely get one here from Wrath. I mean, technically, not really what I was looking for, but technically. Do you know what? I've kind of got an idea now, actually. So let's... Go back, grab my twisted pair that the game stole from me. <laughs> Excuse, I, I would very much like to um to, to level up my twisted pair, but I don't think it's going to happen. Give me those back. They're mine. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, and we'll um we'll use our soul of Eden on uh, Mr. Boom here. So I definitely want to stick with the soul converter. Soul Boom. Of Eden. Ooh. <laughs> this is going to be wacky. Ah oh, yes. What an item. What an item. Our range has gone up by a considerable amount, but because we've got piercing and larger projectiles, I actually think this is a very, very decent setup. So far, it's proving to be. <laughs> yeah, this is quite This is quite beautiful. I, I do love a rogue planet. Is it called rogue planet? I can never remember. Whatever this is called, I love this item. It's stupid. It's it's the best. It used to be an Ipecac, but now it's in something wicked. It is the best item of all items. And with Twisted Pair as well, it's going to be really good. But Soul Converter, definitely a really good setup for this. Um, I'm going to go normal path, to be honest. I was tempted by Mother. But also not a sentence I really want to say. But another thing as well is, I mean, I know obviously it's just kind of how your tastes change as you grow up. But I used to like have an abs absolute hatred for... Um... Yeah, we'll definitely take that. I used to have an absolute hatred. This is insane, this damage. Um, for anything hot or curry or spicy. And now spicy food is like, goddamn, it's like my favorite. So, yeah, it'd be really interesting to, to sort of hear, even if it's not food related, what sort of thing that you've really turned around to recently. Um, something that you really thought you didn't like at all, um, but you've since sort of turned on to. Another, another good example as well, um, and this is one that might actually hurt some people's soul. Um, but... For those of you that have played um, Fallout New Vegas, obviously you'll know that that game is just insanely good. When I first played it, I I swore off of it. I played the first like two hours and for some reason, I don't know what it was, but I absolutely hated it. And then like I tried it again like four or five years later and I was like, damn, I was an idiot. <laughs> I was an actual moron. Like how could I ever think this was a bad product? Oh, lordy, lord. God damn. <laughs> oh, we probably lowered our damage a little bit here, but, and increased our lag significantly, but, I mean, who could say no to this? <clears throat> oh, it's only going to get laggier from here, people. It's only going to get laggier from here. It's actually, the damage is still pretty good. I do think it was better prior to picking this up, but you can't not pick it up. 
Another devil deal for us. Um... No, I gotta say, Pegatory bases off of our damage, and so that would be pretty trash, actually. We keep going. We got some wacky, wacky shenanigans going on right now. Wacky shenanigans. One thing that's always, like, a, a funny thing to me, I have mentioned this on my Isaac series at least once before, but I feel like it's been a while, so I'm gonna mention it again. I actually didn't play The Binding of Isaac after knowing, like, after hearing about it for a really long time. Um, and it's not as it, it's not really a thing that I hated and then turned on to. More so, I was just oblivious to what it was. Um, I, my friend told me about it um, quite a long time ago. They said they were playing it, and it seemed like a really like like they didn't tell me enough about it to really give me any uh, any clue into what it was. And it seemed like an interesting thing at the time, but then I kind of forgot about it. I didn't play it straight after or anything like that. I didn't watch any gameplay. I just kind of forgot about it. And then later on, I kind of thought about it again and was like, oh, actually, this could be um, this could be an interesting game to try out. I remember my friend saying it was really good. And then, like, I I ended up, um, like, trying to find it because I couldn't quite remember what the name was. I just remembered it had, like, a name in it, like, obviously the name Isaac. I remember it had a name in it, but I couldn't remember what the name was. And so I was trying to look for something that had, sort of, like, someone's name in it that would be sort of a similar style. And for some reason, ooh, great item here. For some reason, my brain made the association with um, Thomas was alone instead of the Binding of Isaac. And I looked, I looked at it and watched some YouTube videos and was like, no, 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 this isn't, this isn't my, this isn't my thing at all. Like, this isn't what I was expecting. No, 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 thanks. Um, so I, I never ended up um, getting it. And um, yeah, I, I, for, for like a really, really long time. I was convinced that um, it like Isaac was Thomas was alone, and obviously it's really stupid because it's it's not at all. Um, and yeah, it took me a while to finally find out. I think when I when I actually realised that I was completely wrong was uh, when Ned Cubed put out a video on the Binding of Isaac, and I was like, okay, now this sounds more familiar. And I went and looked at it and was like, oh, I see now. And then like I've so told you guys a few times before. I then ended up, I then went on to watch um, Northern Lion for about a year and a half, two years before actually getting the game myself. It's kind of crazy to think that like I, the, the amount of hours that I have played in this game is like 1,000, probably like 1,800 or something like that. But the actual hours I have in like being entertained by this game, including like YouTube content, is probably like 4,000 or something. <laughs> I watched a lot of Northern Lion for a really long time. Um, what the hell is this star? Soul of uh, increases the chance for tainted treasure rooms to spawn. Tainted treasure rooms can spawn in chapter 4. I guess? We don't really need the trinket we had now. Tears down? Ugh. Oh, that was a big oof of a tears down as well. A big old tears down. We do have the damage um, prefix right now. Well, I mean, it's already worked, so. We got the bad onion. Um, 0 0.5 damage up uh, each time an enemy dies rapidly fades over time. Sounds really good. A fire rate has definitely dipped by quite a considerable amount here, but I don't think that really matters too much. We're at 28 at one point. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see if it's a flat 0 0.5 or if it's based on our damage multipliers. Because it seems to be a flat. Oh, it's a flat. Oh, Lord, this is going to be good. We're going to be firing some really strong tiers here. Ooh, interesting. What's this? Monster train items. Oh, there was a, um, not this, not the monster tonight, there was another mod I was meant to disable that was causing some lag in the last episode, I forgot about that. Treasure rooms contain random bonus chests and one for chance for a random trinket. Seems decent. Cool. We'll grab it. Oh my lord. It's a very quick fading damage up, but it is going to be very potent. Come over here, yo. 
I need to remember that I don't need to continuously fire for the whole room. A lot of the time, um, I only need to fire a little bit and then just kind of walk around the room. Because with piercing, the tears are getting destroyed. But yeah, I've been having a little bit of a so-called fat week um, where I haven't really been abiding by my diet too strictly, but it's okay. Every every now and again. Basically, I went to that wedding like two weeks ago, and basically since then, what the shit? <laughs> What's going to happen here? What? <laughs> what the? We got 47 range. I don't even know how to describe what was going on right now. We got up to nine damage. <laughs> oh, Lord. What is this? <laughs> this is bizarre. I do have to say, I absolutely love it, but it is quite bizarre. I love the fact that it's still doing just really great damage as well. Quite beautiful. Uh, up another one of those. Trying to get as many uh, red hearts as we can for Devil Deals. Oh, these red buttons are so nice. So nice. And I get so lucky with them too. What? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Do you know what we need now? We need like homing on top of this. That would really add some, um, some oomph. I can't even see. Cube of Rot. I can't believe it's a 67% chance to get a Devil Deal there. That's a bit sad. But anyways, down we go. <laughs> this run is nutty. Nutty, nutty, nutty. So yeah, um, tomorrow, actually, me and my girlfriend have decided we're going to go to uh, a restaurant near us. Well, a restaurant, more of a bar. Um, called like Fat, I think it's called like Fat Hippo. The Fat Hippo. Something Hippo. Hungry Hippo. I can't remember exactly what it is. But it does like the best burgers. Ever. It, it, oh my god. We, we, we've had them on Deliveroo a few times on the delivery service, but we've not been there in person, and honestly, we are so ready. We are so ready. And then uh, after that, we're meeting up with like some friends and going out for some drinks. So it's kind of like, we're going to be eating fat anyways. Let's just give in. Go whole hog. But today I had soup, so it wasn't too bad of a lunch today. Nice, the quarter. Thank you. What, like, these are the runs where I'm like, what do I even put in the thumbnail? <laughs> what do I call this? Because this is just craziness. Definitely going to have to put the sad onion, the mad onion, whatever it was called, in there. Because for one, it is the uh, the face of the Tainted Treasure item pack, but also it just looks a really cool sprite and a really fitting item for this run. Lots of champion boys. Now I think it's time. I was saying that Herming would be good for this run. And that right there is Herming. And I think we've gotten quite a lot. Quite a lot out of uh, our active there so far. So I don't think we need to worry too much now. So, yeah, I think I think with Herming this is going to get even wilder. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's... It's pretty wild. I just love the, the height of everything. Like the way that everything kind of spirals upwards into the sky because of Tiny Planet. It's kind of beautiful. <laughs> I have had a similar synergy to this before, but this, this one, this one really like kicked it up a notch. Really took it to the next level. Good, good. We'll check the arcade real quick. Um, oh wait, the room's not over. <laughs> Did not notice that. Don't care. Oh, we lost our damage bonus though. A card trader? You got one of you, I might as well play you. You just gave me you, I don't want you. I wanted health. I do love the fact that there's some of them that don't get caught in the uh, in the tiny planet circle and they're not orbiting. 
I'm just kind of doing their own thing. We got an eternal heart here as well. An immortal heart even. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. I can't believe this clot's still alive. Do we get boss rush here? We do. We're, we're well on our way for boss rush this time. I think we've already done boss rush here, but I don't know if I can deny. We have already done boss rush, but yeah, I don't know if I can deny. We'll go light path here. Damn, nothing great in there, unfortunately. Check this out. Mm, I'd like Loki's horns, but we don't have flight. I don't know, actually, I'm, I think I'm going to skip boss rush. There's nothing there that really entices me. I, I just, I wanted to see if there was anything that would really kick our build up a notch. It would give us like an extra, an extra little something to go on. But that, all of those, they were, they'd help, but they're not like going to kick us up too far of notches. I think one thing that's really impressive about this build as well is just the knockback is so like ridiculously high that um, we're keeping enemies away from us pretty much all the time. I think I, I ought to be popping this literally whenever it's ready, pretty much. Unless the room is ridiculously easy. What the hell hit me then? Okay, my mortal heart is back. Oh god, these last few floors might be a little tricky because enemies are going to have a higher HP, but once we kill one enemy, we get such a huge damage boost that the next enemy dies, that we get such a huge damage boost that the next enemy dies, and so on and so forth. Go, my homing, orbiting pretties. I just, this is why I love modding. Just these weird builds that wouldn't exist otherwise. They're just cool. I think I'll lose my immortal heart if I go for any of these. But at the same time, I mean, let's just grab the Bible first. Yeah, I, I thought I'd lose my immortal heart. But I think it's worth it for extra shots. Still, the clot's still going. The clot's still alive. Yeah, honestly, the herming, I didn't know if it had helped a ton, but it's definitely proving to be useful. Aha! First red button this floor. Not had many of those this floor. Well, definitely not had many if it's our first one. Oh, there's another one. Got a bit unlucky this floor is more so what I meant. But then we get three in a row, pretty much. Beautiful. Really should have used this on the next room, but it's okay. Always oh, save it for the double rooms. But the, the, the challenge really is like, once we've been firing long enough, we kind of need to get ourselves out of the room as quickly as we can to make sure that... Um, <laughs> to make sure that we can actually, like, not lag like crazy, because the lag just builds and builds. Here we go, boss time. It is the bloaty bloaty. It's a kind of rough bloat as well. I don't like this bloat. I feel he can be a massive pain in the ass with the bouncing eyes and the creep. I mean, we're killing him reasonably fast here. He's going to jump in a second, right? Not the jump I was expecting. There you go. Oh my goodness. Devil deal, perhaps? There's just like a string of them stuck to him, look, with the herming. No devil deal. We did get marbles, which is kind of interesting, potentially. Unfortunately not. Right, let's keep it going. I just can't believe that devil deal at the start. It, it really kick-started this into a place of absurdity. It ca kind of kind of getting those three items is what enabled me to take the planetoid thing without it ruining my run. Because I feel like if you get it early on, on its own, it's probably going to ruin your run. Okay. This is a rough room. I hate these enemies. Oh, doesn't matter. They're dead. I think I actually killed them before I pressed the button there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Buttons in large rooms, so overpowered. Ooh, we do have an interesting trinket here that we might be able to get something out of. Whenever you buy every devil item, uh, Satan statue transforms a fallen age, you know, bombing the statue will create a super hostile. Yeah, we'll go for that. Someone wanted to see what this did before 
and I would like to provide that service. I definitely need a red heart here to actually make sure I get my devil deal, because right now I'm one hit away from losing it. And honestly, the tears on screen, oh, we've lost it. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, we didn't lose it. What the hell? Okay. The, t the, the amount of tears on screen, little. Oh, and of course you give me the heart. Little bit hard to see what's going on, I'll be honest. Only a teensy, teensy little bit. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I have to put the button on the other side, didn't you? But this time the button's easy to get to. Ooh. Grab that real quick. We're looking for soul hearts here. You can give me a heart, right? Do you know what? Get out of here and, and reduce the lag first. <laughs> Probably a good idea. I want a soul heart, please. Damn you. Fanny pack, though. Okay. Try not to get hit here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it's not gonna be easy to not get hit here. Especially the eyes. Oh my god. Come on. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be impossible to not get hit here, I think. It's just impossible to see anything. Quite literally no idea what's going on here. I'm dodging. Don't ask me how. <laughs> this is just craziness. I kind of love it, but also I'm scared. And the planet rolls back around. When we're fighting bosses one to one like this, we don't do a lot of damage. Although I, no, I I I disagree with that. Actually, we do do a lot of damage, but the lag is so heavy that we don't see a lot of damage come out. <laughs> We did get a devil deal here. I've right, got to buy all the items or bomb the statue. We've already done hush, so we're not doing hush. Um. Well, first of all, let's. Hmm. Bombing the statue didn't do anything there. Um, okay. I don't really want to lose any health here, so I'm unfortunately not going to be able to use it, but... Bombing the statue didn't work. That is a big sad. That is a big sad. Go do a little room first. It's so hard to actually tell when I'm hitting anything correctly. I just kind of place the storm over them and hope for the best. Room over? No. Room over. Okay, good. Now we can use this. Oh, no, 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 no. Not wasting a charge on that room. What's the point? Okay, now we're good to go. And I think we, we, all, uh, like we owe it to ourselves for these big rooms to do a bit of an explore and make sure there isn't a red button first. There isn't on this one. Imagine this with like euthanasia or something like that and mixed in there. Something that insta-kills. <laughs> it would be pretty beautiful. Right now, it's just like an... It's, it's kind of like a swarm of bats. <laughs> It's kind of like this infestation of bats just looming over every enemy. It is quite beautiful. I need to sort of figure out... Ooh, that was a bad hit. I need to sort of figure out when to stop firing. Like, how many shots do I want in the air to be, like, a good mixture of damage and low lag? Because if I fire too much, it lags like crazy. If I don't fire enough, it's not going to kill things fast enough. But it's a, it's a fine balance. There's a science to this room. A room like this, I think I need to just deal with the lag. Wow. Thanks, fear. 
The fear made him jump in the wrong direction and I went directly underneath him. I literally can't hit bombs. This so far has been a slow process for these big boys. As I said, our damage isn't actually that great when we're not killing stuff. When we kill something, we get a nice burst. But prior to that, not so much. We've got to kind of place everything right and hope for the best. Okay. Lost two hearts in this room, so I'm not very happy about that. Health-wise, we ain't looking so hot. Okay, luckily, these little ghosties have incredibly low health. This shouldn't be a problem. Okay. I heard a heart there, but I never actually looked at what heart it was. Okay. This room is useful to us. Potential red hearts. Got none. Good, good. Okay, that's good. I guess we'll take that. Oh, Blasphemy got, um, Blasphemy got eaten up. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that room is not worth my time. Neither is this one. Kind of upsetting that we went two wrong ways there, but okay. Right, through we go. Push onwards, my liege. Okay, this room I don't think we need herming for. I think these guys are very weak. Should die reasonably quickly. Where's the other fella? He's all the way over there. What are you doing all the way over there? Okay, you see? Easy. My god, the amount of time that guy takes to die. Egregious. This guy should drop us some hearts. Yes, we're back up to full. And you go die, die very quickly. Okay, this is where things are going to take some time. With the boss armor, I think you're going to be a rather tricky boss, right? I, I do believe that new tiers that we fire do more than the lingering ones. I think once a tier has passed through an enemy, it does less damage. I might be wrong about that, but I know some games have it work like that. So we do want to be constantly firing new tiers. And just, just like I said, increase the lag, though. I've kind of got to play this sort of rhythm game where I try and place the planet over him. It's a little difficult, I'll be honest. Ow. We got a soul heart of that from Fanny Pack. Thank you. Also not expecting it. Yeah, I think we're entering second phase now. You can see how low the frame rate is because these are coming in so slowly. It's messing with the fight. There you go. A good pass over. Not the holiday. <laughs> Look at that, the light beams are just chilling. Yeah. Oh, I uh, I gulped under the trinket there. I got a half heart as well. I hear I hit twice though. Okay, probably one or two more phases. <laughs> it's funny. Almond milk really cranked this bad boy, didn't it? Ow! Taking some bad damage right now. Oh, come on. One more phase. Oh, wait, no. I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. Okay. That was interesting. That was The way that worked was weird. Can I get in the chest, please? Thank you. Okay. We have two items here that I very much like. Two items here that I very much do not want to take. I think Infestation 2 is going to be incredible. Actually, I don't know. With the, with the damage we have, it might not be amazing. I'm looking forward to it, though, regardless. I'm 
Okay. Give us a lot of chests. I know we only have two luck, but it would be really nice. That and hearts, because we just got uh, Maggie's bow, which means double red heart healing. Oh, that's another thing, actually. Lots of red buttons, please. That would go a long, long way. Oh my god. We just got some really clutch red buttons there. Really clutch red buttons. Oh my lord. Don't have to deal with anything. What's the point in doing rooms when you could just skip them? I kind of like not using uh, our uh, book straight away because then we get like a nice mixture of colours. <laughs> A nice blend. And you did as well. Just the death animations take so much longer now. Like, look at this. Take your time, take your time. Huzzah! Imagine one of those spawning in the actual boss room. Ooh, I am, I am, I am. Angry fly, hell yes. <laughs> Everyone's favorite little fella. Look at the size of some of these tiers. Holy hell. As I said, you kill something and you get you get some uber power. They're nice. Oh, these guys are tanky. Tanky, tanky, tanky. And you're gonna die pretty quick. Do you, spawn, do you even wanna spawn anything? No. Okay. Oh my god. The bats of war are here. I'm trying to ignore all of the fray here. Okay, these guys could do a lot of damage. Already dealt a heart to me. Alright, there's a heart on the floor, and that'll give us a full one as well. Okay. Into here, and here's our boss room, finally. Kind of an annoying room prior to our, um, prior to our boss room here, especially considering we can't use Herming in this room. I mean, the, the, they're going down pretty quick with the halves. The halves are taking a lot of time because they have boss armor. The full one's done. Yeah. Still, it's going reasonably well. Just use the swarm. Angry Fly's doing his thing up there. There you go. Melted. Nightshade, nice one. Okay. Do we have something blocking tears here? Does this cube of rock block tears? Yeah, it does. Nice. I didn't realize that for a while. It's kind of useful. Okay, this is where we get our big damage. Kills a bunch of enemies. We get some six damage shots out there. Lord. It just, it's just kind of funny how like this fight would take like seconds if there was no lag. But with lag, got like a minute here. <laughs> Don't even know where I am. You say I've been hit, but I have no idea. We've got enough health to get through this, though. He's in the second phase now. And his second phase is actually kind of good for us, because I believe he spawns more flies in his second phase, which is just more damage for us. I'm not even firing anymore. I'm just letting the swarm do its thing. Seeing how long it takes for the swarm to die off and we'll rebuild. It's been... The, the swarm has been going for it. Like, I haven't fired in so long. It's not dying off. Okay, it's getting a little low now. Okay, let's rebuild. We really need to be careful. I'm taking quite a lot of damage here. There 
There you go. Got full, full on. Just call down fire. And he is dead. There we go. He's dead. There we go. What an interesting run. God damn. I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.